Good morning. Um, I'm down at the City Hall uh, to uh, look round an exhibition there uh, that goes a long way to shed some light uh, on uh, the major contribution that uh, Southern regiments, uh, Southern Irish regiments, made up many uh, of many guys who actually supported home rule. Um, the major contribution of these uh, uh, home rule soldiers are and nationalists, largely Catholics. Uh, the the major contribution that they made to the First World War effort. And so many of these guys are unsung. Uh, this has been largely a hidden story uh, up until now. Uh, and this exhibition has been produced by the Connet Rangers Research Group. And it speaks of the legacy of Belfast nationalists in the Great War. Uh, a brilliant exhibition down at the City Hall. Uh, come and see it. Um, Many of these guys, as I said, were nationalists, they were Catholic, they were Republican, and yet they um, put on the British Army uniform and they fought against the tyranny of Germany, and so, so many of them, them died. And they are largely forgotten, or they have largely been forgotten, because Catholics ignored them because they these boys wore the British Army uniform, and Protestants didn't want to know about them because they were Catholic. So uh, uh, this uh, light is now being shed upon these boys and their uh, untold bravery. The, uh, <clears throat> the Sixth Connet Rangers. Uh, until recently the military record of Belfast nationalists in World War I was a part of uh, the city's hidden history. Uh, see, the Catholics wouldn't want to associate with anybody who fought in, in the British uniform, and uh, the Protestants certainly wouldn't w have welcomed them. The Sixth Connet Rangers Research Group has attempted to assist uh, the renewed and growing interest in this important part of nationalist history. <laughs> see this? This kind of information is actually played down that uh, Catholics and Protestants fought together, uh, or fought <laughs> together against the Germans, and had more in common than they uh, ever had not. There we are now. Come down and see this for yourself. James McCann of the Sixth Connet Rangers, and uh, these are a few of his knickknacks as we uh, as we we cross. That he carried with him uh, uh, various other bits and pieces, maybe to hold tobacco. I don't know. There's his medals, and maybe that looks like a Bible. And there's uh, a wee canteen, and it says he. Uh, he was from Albert Street, Belfast, right arm amputated at Gallipoli. A scapular still has his blood on it. And information about uh, Passchendaele and Cambrai. And the conditions obviously pretty horrific. Uh, as you can see from some of the photographs. My goodness. Oh, this was not a very pleasant place to be. And here we have uh, Patrick McKillen of Oran Moore Street, was formerly of D Company Belfast, member of Clonard Cycling Club. He was cited for his gallant conduct and devotion to duty during the Battle of the Somme in 1916. Patrick would be killed at Fresenberg Ridge, Passchendaele. 
His fiancée, Mary McCann, would grieve for him all her life and would never marry. And uh, he was in the, uh, he was in the Connet Rangers. There you are now. And uh, there, there's an interesting thing, a grandnephew of Patrick McKillen lays flowers on his grave at uh, Brand Hook New Military Cemetery. And here we have two old boys. We have Sergeant Paddy O'Hare, right, pictured with Billy Wilkie, a Protestant war veteran from the Falls Road outside the Beehive Bar, 1930. And here's the sad thing. Paddy served 18 years with the Connets, was burnt out of his home in Ernie Street in 1921 by loyalists while home on leave. And this is a guy, he was a nationalist, he was a, he was a, a Catholic, but he was burnt, and he served in the British Army, but he, uh, he was burnt out of his home by loyalists uh, um, while home on leave. His wife and younger children would be evacuated to Army headquarters in England. And it says here, uh, in the entire war, 480 men of all ranks had lost their lives with the 8th Battalion or 6th Battalion Connacht Rangers. So, an awful lot of these guys uh, who, who had actually fought in the, uh, in the British Army in the Second World War um, were, were actually uh, nationalists and, and they had a big contribution to the war effort. Or they made a big contribution. Lots and lots of uh, memorabilia down here. <laughs>